Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, as expected, we knew that Whoopi Goldberg was going to cape for Liam Neeson. All this shit about she don't believe he's a bigot and all that type of shit. First of all, like I said, um, you know, when you think like that, it don't matter whether it's 40 years ago, whether it's 20 years ago, you know, you are what you are. I mean, Chris Brown, you know, had an incident with Rihanna like 10 years ago, and he's considered a woman beater. So why all of a sudden with the time frame, Chris Brown is still a woman beater, but Liam Neeson isn't a racist, white supremacist, all this bullshit about, oh, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. What happened? And it's, it, I, I thought to myself, it's wrong. Why? First of all, nobody asked you to say that shit. You the one that said it. Nobody would have never knew if you wouldn't have opened your mouth. But see, you thought you was slick. See, what you tried to do is open up the floodgate for other bigots to come out. You know, so now what's going to happen is, depending on how his movie does this weekend, what he was going to try to do is get other people to say, well, you know, about 15 years ago, I used the N-word and I came to the realization that I'm not a racist because at the time when I used it, I was in a bad place. You know, basically, I had found out that they were going to cancel the Golden Girls and, you know, um, you know, they stopped making crystal clear Pepsi. So I was angry and I said those words and spewed it out. But I came to the conclusion that, hey, I'm not a racist. Man, fuck you, dude. You are racist. You singled out black people. You wanted to harm a innocent black man. Let me tell you what could have saved Liam Neeson. What could have made some people say, well, you know what? I, whatever. If he would have said, I went looking for that specific black person. But no, you said random. And that's what sealed your doom. Some of us might have said, all right, Liam, maybe. But nah, you said random. You were willing to hurt a random black person. So you go fuck yourself. Nah. They always try that shit, too. They try to minimize it based off their thought process. Not everybody else, but I came to the realization. No, motherfucker, everybody else came to the realization. You are a fucking racist. Okay? That's the bottom line. So stop it with that shit. But as far as Whoopi Goldberg go, what else do? Whoopi Goldberg defended, you know, Mel Gibson. Now, keep in mind, she did change her name to a Jewish name, Goldberg, because that ain't her government name. And Whoopi Goldberg is a historic compulsive swirler. Okay, this chick dated Ted Danson, who came out years ago in blackface. Oh, yeah, fuck you too, Ted Danson, you piece of shit. So... Go figure about Whoopi Goldberg. Like I said, I told you white people's mentality. They know that they have a coon on speed dial that they can bring up. Hey, hey, why don't you, you know, why don't you say something on my behalf? And we, we, we ain't paying attention to no Whoopi Goldberg. Motherfuck Whoopi Goldberg in her black lips, as Burke Bernie Mac would say. I hate Whoopi Goldberg lips. But, you know, is anybody surprised about Whoopi Goldberg, a compulsive bed wench, swirler, piece of shit? The only thing me and Whoopi Goldberg got in common is we both sneakerheads. But besides that, fuck Whoopi Goldberg. You know what I'm saying? Go to hell. Biatch.